Who dares to attack me? Oh shit! My boy QR code is here! <laughs> This is Romy here and welcome back to Love Ritual. We are here waking up from the amazingness we had last night, but our girl's having anxiety about this whole demon situation. Is that really what you want? And she was telling Seth to forget about her and take the demon out. Yes. I'm going to ask you again because you don't sound like you're too sure with what you're saying. I... Look, I won't take it take it the wrong way if you have doubts. It's not that you have doubts in me. And even if you did, it's natural. I mean, I act like I'm hot stuff. But to be honest, I'm just as scared as you are right now. Seth, listen to me. I've worked my whole life. You're getting real close, okay. To build up a career for myself as a necromancer. And here I am trying to get myself killed for a woman I haven't even known for an entire week. That's why I feel like this is so rushed but you know 2019 i'm sure relationships are like this nowadays i don't know but you know what the beautiful part about all of this is i'm gladly willing to put it all on the line for you that's how much i care oh i understand that it's difficult to have hope for the future when things are looking grim and there's so many variables that could go wrong not just for you but for me as well then then I want you to be sure. I want if you want to be uh, blah, blah, blah. if you want me to leave it be, I'll respect your wishes and do as you ask. But I won't do that unless you look me in the eyes and tell me that that's what you really want. My face is itching because my the AC is like flowing my hair and it's tickling me. I had a feeling you'd react this way. Like I said, it's natural to be scared in a situation like this. But it's at times like this when we really need to give it our all and just have faith in each other. I'm sorry for being such a downer. If I wasn't here for you when you were, what kind of boyfriend would I be? You're right. Anyway, I have no idea what to do next. When were you my boyfriend? Oh, I don't remember, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't just run away, leave the city, hoping what the demon will not get you. Because I will disappear anyway. How much time do I have? Two days. Maybe three. And I'm guessing that's when the game's gonna end or something. I see. Let's not fall into despair and focus on our goals, okay? So, we have to solve two problems. First is the demon and the mysterious person who stands behind the demon. Second is that you can fade away. We have nothing on this demon. Well, will he attack you or not? We only have your forebodings. Forebodings? But we know about your fading. It may happen very soon. I assume that we should would start from this. Do you have any ideas about that? No, I've never seen this kind of situation before. Maybe I can find something in my books, but they took all my stuff. How can we take my books back? Maybe we don't need this. I mean, do you remember that shopkeeper that we bought clothes from? The one that's very fond of me. Yes, I do. But what does it have to do about my problem? Well, she's not just fond of me because I buy clothes from her. She has a little secret underneath the shop. I don't deal in such ways unless it's an emergency, but in my line of work, emergencies pop up quite often. So I suggest we pay her a visit and look for books and other necessities. And maybe we'll find something to oppose the demon. I hope she found the person that burglared her store or something. Because she went to the police station that one time. Oh, I see. We may kill two birds with one stone. Well, I have no experience with black markets, so you have to lead the way. Of course, let's get dressed and we'll leave whenever you're ready. Alright. Hey, girl. Guy. Looking cute over there. <laughs> we get prepared and head down for the clothes shop. To be honest, I have somewhat of a bad feeling about this. Then again, it could just be the fact that this whole black market thing is foreign to me. Seth's done this a bunch of times. He should know. Seth looks nervous. He remains silent all the way to the shop, looking around for someone or something. Maybe my worries are just because of his behavior. He looked nervous. Don't worry. It's all going to be okay. I've done this a thousand times. Just let me do all the talking and we'll be out of here quickly. Hey, girl. If it isn't my favorite customer, Kalaseth, how can I serve my most loyal customer on this most special occasion? I'm looking for heaven's good and goods in hell. Oh, is that so? You should have told me you were coming for those. A code phrase. Oh, sorry, where's my manners? Come in, please. There is no one following you, right? You can be sure I am careful as always. Nice. Lucky us. There's no customers now. I would have locked up and waited for you. Either way, you know where the basement is. You can go on ahead, and I'll be downstairs with you in a moment as, I, as soon as I lock up. Thank you. He's so cute when he bows. 
down under the basement. As I head down the stairs, I can sense the presence of strong magic. Strange, I didn't feel this upstairs. Ooh. Ooh, look at the speckles on that. I really love the art. It's so gorgeous. Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to look at everything. Is there a cat around here? I haven't found a cat in a while. <laughs> anyway, and here's the reason. The entire basement is littered with artifacts that create magical noise. Seth, do you feel this? Is that a protecting dome field working here? A strong magic presence? Yeah, there are a lot of powerful artifacts covered with a protective dome. Otherwise, the Inquisitors would have found this place long ago. Please refrain from using magic. The Inqu Inquisition may mess up our plans. Do you believe they didn't help me? I may soon. I may. Oh, so I may soon. I may say something bad about them, but well, maybe they will help. Who knows? Is it a good idea to count on them? No. Oh, God damn it! Why am I always doing the things all by myself? Well, that isn't true because I'm helping you, right? Right. Sorry, Seth. I hope we can make it. Yeah. Why did my girl suddenly pop off? It's kind of weird. No time to lose heart. Rely. When you're in trouble, discourage the worst idea. Acting is a better way. Don't pay attention to me. I really do hope it will go. It will all go away. Oh, I'll go well. Sorry. We have the work. We have work to do here anyway. We do. I will look around here. Maybe I'll find something useful. Look for what we could use to oppose to the demon. I'll search for books. Maybe Seth says the right things, but still my inner voice tells me to start with the demon. Ingredients, artifacts, potions, essence, and scrolls. And here are the books. Excellent. What a wonderful selection of books on ritualism. Seth, there are so many things. This is a miracle. We are incredibly lucky. I can't believe it. I'm glad you could find what you need. You have no idea how hard it was to get all these things. I almost dropped the book from surprise. How did she sneak in so silently? Yes, yes, sorry. I need to. I need time to choose the right one. Take as much time as you need. And if you're looking for something specific, I'll be around and ready to help you. I can obtain all the grim grimoires or gr grimoires? I don't know. That the Inquisitors have taken from me. I still need to find a drawing set. The essence I saw in the closet and. Search and definition rituals. Search, yeah. I need to find who this demon really is. When I find his name, I will destroy him. I see that you're interested in ritualistic grimoires. Yes, I am helping here. Well, I am helping here with an investigation. So you are a ritualist. Does something just seem to change in her voice? It doesn't matter. I need this book and tools. Yes, as I've said, I help. I helped with the investigation of the rituals for the police. That is where I met Signor Casa. I see. I should have guessed that. Might you have a qualifier from Gross? Ah, here it is. I need the book on the table, so I stretch my hand to take it. Next to the book on the table, I notice a single pattern. Is that a search ritual? Yes, it is. Who made it? You? Yes, I did. Has this chick been doing it all along? I freeze in fear. It can't be. Is this what the Inquisitor spoke of? An unregistered ritualist. I'm afraid to turn to the shopkeeper and look into her eyes. And what could you be looking for with such a ritual? I'm not. I'm looking not for something, but for someone. For like it down. Oh shit, dude. What? So tackles me and we both fall to the ground. A fireball with a hiss rushes past and gives me a wave of heat against my skin. Oh. That's her? Him? The, she was calling the demon a him, but it really looks like a her to me. Ew. <laughs> I thought it was moving based off of my mouse, but it wasn't. In the place where shopkeeper stood, there was a demon hanging in the air. I recognized her right away. You, but how? So then I find her feet and, stu feet and start to back away. Well, it seems I was not mistaken. Who would have thought you hid well just like me? So you're the fucking demon. Rely, hide somewhere. Yo, I didn't even go. Okay. He said something. Boy of energy from the paw of a demon strikes Seth. He covers himself with his hands, but the impact is so strong that Seth is knocked aside. Don't interfere, Worm. Worm? Seth? Don't forget. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought she said don't forget. Sorry. Forget about him. Jesus. Shut up. Yo, this animation is beautiful. An energy beam hit the demon. Seth appears in front of me with a furious look. Where'd it go? I, or her. I hate this shit. How can I be so stupid? He strikes again and I see his blood flooding from his hand. Did he do it again? Cut himself for essence. How can I blow up a demon? Why did he decide that the demon wasn't a priority threat? I'll finish this right away. Right now, anyway. 
The demon strikes back and Seth was thrown back again. I told you, get lost. The demon turns to me. And you, how wonderful that you yourself came to me. What a surprise, although I must confess your choice in vessel is excellent. A young ritualist summoned hith hitherward because of us. Did you kill her along the way? What is she talking about? And why is she messing around with me? No matter, I must act. I don't have enough power for a big attack. Only for a couple weak shots. I can try and attack the demon. She will be bluffing me and be as quick as I am. Maybe there's something in the room that will help me. I think I saw a spear that protects this place with a covering dome. Seth, he lost a lot of blood. I don't think what he recovered was enough after that night. I can try to use healing on him. I must act immediately. Well, what the fuck? Um, shit, I have five minutes, so I can't be like, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, attack the demon, help Seth attack the spheres. I don't think we should attack the demon because we're going to obviously lose. Um, maybe I do want to help Seth, but we have to get the demon out of the way first. So let's attack the spears. Maybe is that correct? I don't know. I will try to break as many spheres as possible while she's chatting. This should attract the attention of the inquisitors. If, if only they were here, he, they're here. If only if they were here, they're here. Okay, I need to find these spheres. There's one right there, one right here. Um, there was. I was just looking at all of them. All right, I had to wait a long time, but what a prize. My own vessel, alas, is not so good in ritualism. The benefits of her books, however, are very convenient, aren't they? Found them, I hope these are all the spheres. Now I need to destroy them all in one hit. I'll try to conjure the arcane arrows. Damn it, it will not work. I'm such a weakling. All right, pull yourself together, at least one. It worked, but this shouldn't be. I'm not a magician, so, so where is so much strength coming from? Hmm, is that it? And you wanted to get into this. Ah, protection. You hope your Inquisitor buddies will help you. It's all its all will be over before they come. Even if they do come, I kind of feel sorry for you. Anyway, what are you even hoping for? The Inquisitors and your little friend here are powerless. And these grimoires will not help you. Do you think I haven't tried? Yes, I have. And I think you can try them too. But we can't be without each other, as a gate can't be closed alone. Two came, so two must either leave or stay. That is the order of things. What do you think you're still... Why do you think you're still alive? So you have no choice. Our energy flies through the open portal gates. And we both will disappear if we don't close it. And if you don't want to close the gates, you want to have chosen the body for ritualist for yourself, right? No matter if fate brought you to me. Looks like the demon knows everything. I need to pull out as much information as possible and buy some time. Fate? His face is paler than usual. I feel with cold that rises from my fingertips are rising because I realize that we can't make it by ourselves. You lucky bastard. So what was your plan in case we didn't come down here? You're trying to mess up. No, sorry. Mess me up, boy. In hopes of getting yourself some time to recover. The demon struck again and Seth goes down in one knee. You have a simple choice for life. Either cooperate voluntarily or I'll take you by force. By force? How would you do that? Or tell off... Tell... Tear off your arms and legs. The only requirement is that you need to be alive and in the circle during the ritual. Then what is the point of cooperating? You will kill me anyway after the ritual. Well, yes, there is no point. Then we'll just have to kick your ass. Seriously? <laughs> I'm disappointed. Seth attacks the demon suddenly. Don't make me laugh. You don't even have the strength to scratch me. How did you plan to kill me? You're exhausted, fool. Demon ignores all of Seth's attacks and shoves him away with one strike. Be gone, scum. I must prepare the ritual for me and her. I can't believe this. She actually starts the ritual preparation. Ignoring us, she busily draws circles on the floor. Don't think you can deceive me. I spoke with losers who summoned us. They started all of this to fill you with power. You were summoned weakened, and you didn't have time to drink the essence. So that bowl of essence was a gift for me. I was such a weak spirit. I was weak, so you squeezed through that portal with me? This dummy's hired the stupid girl that I possessed to help with the ritual. Don't you remember? Strange. But then, you dissolve in the ritualist, in this ritualist girl. Why do I even prostate myself here? You disappoint me so much. So it's a saleswoman that is a self-taught ritualist. She made a mistake because of her lack of knowledge, and she did not correctly calculate the size of the gate. Then the demon killed and climbed inside of her. Damn it, and the gate won't close without her. I can't do the ritual without the demon. You see, it still considers fate as only a random occurrence. As for me, fate is a pattern and an opportunity. I simply wait and act when the chance arises. 
The demon continues to mumble and draw a sickle. Seth looks tired because of, of the fight. His hand covered with blood and he shivers a bit. What shall we do next? Sorry, but I can't do it somewhere far away from this place. The ritual will make noise, of course. But I think I'll win the situation. Ooh, who did that? The demon is interrupted as a holy beam of light strikes it from behind. Who dares to attack me? Oh, shit. My boy QR code is here. <laughs> The Inquisition! We must have been so focused on the demon that we didn't hear of them break the door down to get in. More people in the Inquisitional uniform, armed with crossbows, into the room behind the Inquisitor. Oh shit, they're way powerful now, aren't they? Oh no, they fired at the demon, but the enchanted bolts burned away in the air before reaching the beam. Oh shit, never mind. Blunts, I'll crush all of you like a. The Inquisitor attacks again, but the demon knocks the staff out of his hands. Stay back, you'll be useful to me later. Foot sacrifice? Seth is trying to help, but Demon just ignores his attacks. I'll possess you, Inquisitor. I'll slowly eat away your insides until I take your place. I'll put your put on your skin like a dress. The room is gonna be covered in smoke. I can hear Callus Seth coughing nearby nearby too. So much is on the fire because of the, of the demon's magic. A demon in the skies of an inquisitor. Won't that be great? Great in the next episode, because I realize I'm over time again. Um, the music is awfully loud, but editing we will fix that anyway this is it i don't know what's gonna be happening i feel like one of us need to have some water power here and water out the fire or something i don't know anyway thank you guys for watching today's episode stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> Yeah.